We know Iowa's legislature will enact new restrictions on abortion in Iowa at next week's special session. The governor and Republicans who control the legislature have made that clear. But there are still a lot of questions of what that looks like. KCRG TV9's news director Adam Karras spoke with Cornell College political scientist Megan Goldberg about what we can expect from the session. Uh, Megan Goldberg with Cornell College uh, joins us now. And Megan, uh, let's start off with a special session, not something we typically see a lot of in Iowa. What do you expect to see out of this special session directed specifically towards this abortion issue? So obviously the focus here is on abortion. Uh, and so I think what we're going to see is A, sort of how Democrats are going to approach this issue. Obviously they are opposed to any further restrictions on abortion access in Iowa. Um, but as we all know, they're also a minority in the state legislature. So how they're going to sort of grapple with not having a lot of power, but still trying to push back on this legislation. On the other hand, I also think it's important to watch where the divisions are in the Republican Party, because this is one of the first times we'll see Republicans in Iowa sort of have to iron out their policy differences within the party uh, because we've all heard them sort of talk about abortion and abortion access for a long time, but they haven't had to actually legislate specific policy that has a good chance of actually being sort of implemented in place. And you mentioned that kind of then changes to the debate for Republicans as to where to draw that line on exemptions, for example. Uh, where do you expect when you've seen this unfold in other states, where do you expect that to play out in Iowa? So this has been really controversial sort of intra-Republican party politics in a lot of different states. And we've seen Republicans be divided, especially when it comes to whether or not there should be exceptions for things like rape and incest, but also sort of where you draw that timeline. We've seen six-week abortion bans pass, but those are really unpopular with the public. So are uh, getting, rid, getting rid of exceptions for rape and incest is also wildly unpopular with the public. And so the majority of Iowans in sort of poll after poll after poll show that the majority majority supports some abortion access. Um, Republicans have to figure out sort of where that line is that they can still sort of maintain their electoral popularity because a six week ban is really unpopular. At 20 weeks where it stands now, it's sort of where they want to they want to get somewhere between obviously that six and, and 20. Um, and so that's really tricky. Um, a lot of people have different opinions on sort of where you draw the line in here. Um, and so I expect to see it somewhere in there, but sort of uh, duking it out over 12 is often sort of a marker in between. Um, and so I might expect to see that. But I also think there are Republicans in Iowa, Republican lawmakers who want to sort of shoot for that six. And I think that's going to be really controversial and unpopular, especially with Republicans in more competitive districts. With the first bill obviously facing the legal challenges struck down in 2018, uh, the Supreme Court did not overturn that strike down. So why would this one face a different legal challenge if it does get passed into law? There's sort of two different layers here. First is the Iowa Supreme Court. The Iowa Supreme Court had a history sort of of upholding, or sorry, striking down uh, a lot of restrictions to abortion access because of the sort of pre-existing interpretation of the Iowa Constitution and the right to privacy. However, in the new court, that interpretation of sort of the right to privacy uh, as protected in the Iowa Constitution has changed. Um, we've also, though, seen a change at the national level with the Supreme Court and the Dobbs decision last summer. And so now a state challenge um, might be harder to block additional abortion restrictions. Um, but we also wouldn't see sort of federally um, that challenge necessarily going very far because you don't have the Roe precedent to sort of protect abortion access.